But the thing is, to get Allah's love, you do what you have to do. And what, what does Allah do? Look in the Quran. Allah has different levels. One is Allah says, Ya ayyuhal nas, O people, that's for the whole entire world. But when you've accepted Iman, Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, O you who have believed in me and my messenger. There's a difference. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. If you carry on being good, then it changes. Allah says, Ya ibadi, la khawfun alaykum al yawma wa la antum tahzanun. Oh my servants, Allah then says, my servants, first, O oh people, then, O oh you who believed, then, O oh my servants, you know, you know what that means, I mean, of course, we're all are his servants, right? Kafir is his servant, in the sense that they have been created as his servants, everyone in the world is his servant, whether they wish to, you know, gain Iman or not, they're still his servants, they're still his khalq, his creation, they're his servants, whether they wish to serve him or not, they're still his servants. But why is Allah saying to you and me or somebody, He's saying, Ya Ibadi, why? Because it's like, imagine parents, you know, they've got, they say, you know, that's my son. That's my son. You know that phrase, that's my son. That, that your parents don't say about every single, you know, they've got maybe four sons and they say about one of them, that's my son. You know why they say that? Because that one has made them extra happy. That one they look at, they say, I'm, they're all sons. But why do they say, that's my son? Because of the fact that they have proved themselves and they've showed that, that kindness towards the parents and so on. <coughs> Same thing, when we do what Allah is asking us to do, what does Allah do? Allah asks. Allah, 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 Allah will, 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 um, uh, will address us with what? With ibadi. And these ibad or these servants of Allah on the earth, our, our whole attitude will change towards Allah. So what I want to say to you brothers is, how do we gain Allah's love? How you gain Allah's love is that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have to follow his example. That's how we gain Allah's love. Allah has said that in the Holy Quran. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ if you claim that you love Allah, if you want to love Allah, then Rasulullah has been told, Fattabi'uni, follow me. The love of Allah is in the footsteps of following Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa That's ultimately the love of Allah. The more we try and find out about his life, what he did, and the more I try and get myself to adapt to that life, the more Allah azza wa jalla will love me. And I'm going to say there's four things regarding this. Okay? four things regarding this. Number one is you have to find out what the sunnah was or what Allah has told us to do. Number two is we have to act upon that. So one is ilm, one is amal. So first you find out what it is, then you act upon it. Number three is we have to make it a habit and be inclined towards it. You know when you make a habit, you make a habit of anything you'll be inclined towards it. So that's number three. So what's number one? Finding out, that's knowledge. And what's number two? <coughs> Amal or practice. Yeah, good. Number three? Habit and being inclined towards it. You've got to carry on doing it because anything you do, habitually, you're inclined towards it. And let me give you an example. If you brush your teeth every night and one night you never brush your teeth, you're going to feel really odd. If you brush your teeth every morning and one morning you never brush your teeth and you left the house, you're going to feel like your mouth's a graveyard. <laughs> you're going to feel like there's something wrong inside your mouth. So the thing, my point is, when you make it a habit, the body automatically wants you to do it. It will remind you, you'll feel a bit odd in your mouth. It's time to brush my teeth. When it's your habit that you sleep every night at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, when 10 or 11 comes, you'll feel tired naturally. So anyway, number one is you know what to do, number two is you actually do it, but then you have to make it your habit. Number four is you move towards excellence in that thing. So, for example, for Salah, I need to know how the Messenger Sallallahu prayed. I need to act upon it and pray. And I need to make it a habit of praying. 
and then number four is I need to move towards the excellence of prayer. Now the excellence of prayer is what? Is that I try and do it with all the calmness I can and I try and, ex I try and increase the spirituality and my mind and devotion to Allah. That's excellence of Salah. So for example, I find out how the Prophet ate. And one of the things I find out is that if the food dropped off, then Rasulullah you know, if he wasn't, if he wasn't um, dirty, he picked it up and, he, and he, if there's dirt, he removed it and he ate it. I find that out. I find that he cleaned his plate. I find out that he ate, um, you know, he, he ate in a way where he's thanked Allah or he praised Allah and so on. I find out all about, all about that. Then I practice it. Then I make it a habit. Then I try to move towards excellence in the, in the sense that every time I'm doing it and I'm, I'm cleaning the plate and I'm finishing all my food off, whatever it is, I'm finishing it off properly. Allah, that is now moved. I've moved towards the fourth thing. In every action of the Prophet, in everything, I try and get these four things done. And excellence, the last one, is the most important one in some ways because that's when you really enjoy it. If I can do this, brothers, if you can do this, then my, my love of Allah Azza wa will increase and in return Allah Azza wa His love will increase for me because I'm following the footsteps of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah has said in the Quran Surah Al Imran Ayah number 31 Allah said if you follow Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah Allah will love you Allah will forgive our sins. Allah will show His love towards me, Allah will forgive my sins, and Allah is the one who is most, you know, He's oft forgiving and He's the one who has mercy.